Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly love readings. I'm sorry I've been gone, but I'm back now. Oh, I'm blinding you with that light. Um, I've had no internet after my move, so I still have no internet, but I'm going to try and work around it. So we will do our best. Um, these will be from the 20th of April until the 24th of April. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. I've really missed everyone's comments. So please, please, please comment. Uh, also, these are general love readings, remember. So if it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit the notification button uh, if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. I've done my own nails, so let's not be judgy on the old nails because I never do my own nails, but we have no nail salons at the moment either. So, uh, yeah. All right, let's do love messages, please, for Taurus. Love messages for Taurus, please. The Emperor. Okay, Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aries. Ooh, and the King of Cups in the upright. Wow, this is someone that really knows what they want. This is great. Um, they're not afraid to share their feelings. They're not afraid. And the Queen of Swords. Interesting, King and Queen. Um, this could be you. This could be you, you know, being very direct with your emotions and with your feelings uh you may be being met with a little bit of coldness this can also be reversed these are general readings so sometimes the energies reverse i am picking up this is most of you um with the king and the emperor the emperor and the king is the same energy okay eight of cups so you may have left a situation physically um, but certainly not emotionally. I actually think you have, yes. Okay, so it looks to me like you've shared your feelings. You've been quite honest about your feelings and upfront. You didn't want to mess around. There was no game playing here. You just wanted to be upfront and clear about how you felt. Now, this person was a little bit icy, a little bit cold. Um, and I think that that's what's caused you to back right off. It does look like there isn't much communication between the two of you at the moment. You may want to communicate with him, but you've got nothing to say. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like I've got nothing to say to you. I don't know why I'm saying that. That's what's in my head. Um, but let's clarify. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse, please? Is the, yeah, Four of Wands coming out. Oh, how many have we got there? Two, okay. Yeah, see, now that the secret's been revealed, it's kind of like it all went bad. Um, you revealed your feelings and they kind of met you with a four of wands in reverse, which was a, no, that's not the happy reception, joyous occasion that you thought it was going to be when you shared your secret feelings or your deepest feelings with this person. What's a page of wands in reverse for you? One more. Someone's enjoying. Okay, so it could be that someone's kind of pretending to be fine about all this. They may well be fine about this, but they're behind the scenes, they're wondering if they made the right decision and if it's still the right decision not to be talking to you. Um, they know their time's running out though. So I think. They're, they're maybe presenting like they're very confident and very, um, you know, they're backing th their response. They're not coming to you saying, I'm sorry, or I was wrong or anything like that. They're on, on the surface. It looks like they are confident, but you've got this two of wands here and they know they're, they're sitting there going, did I choose the right path? Because they're not talking to me now. And is this the right path that we're not on speaking terms now? All right, let's get some more about these people. What's the King of Cups, please? Thank you. Oh, yes. Okay. So King of Cups. Whoever got rejected, very, very much pain. Very much pain. <laughs> very painful at the moment. Um, Queen of Cups. Uh, Queen of Swords, please. 
Oh, I've got two. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. So they've got issues from their past. Six of Cups and the Chariot. So they may, um, they may have children from the past, but they may also have issues that they're trying to move forward from. Um, and I almost feel like that's why they're behaving the way that they are. Um, they're very quick to respond to, like too quick with this chariot here. Thoughts and feelings, please, for Taurus. Star, you definitely have disappointed, feeling like you may have missed a really amazing opportunity. King of Swords, okay, there's a lot of anger, bitterness, um, resentment on your part, I think. And please don't come at me in the comments if that's not you. That's great if it's not you. This is a general reading, so it may apply to someone else, this part. Um, but really assess it and say, like, are you angry? Are you annoyed? Are you bitter? There's nothing wrong with any of those emotions. It's normal. We have those emotions for a reason because that's how we stop ourselves getting hurt again and how we learn. When it becomes a problem is when we let those things get away from us and then they become a permanent fixture in our life, which we absolutely don't want or need, or they carry on to future relationships as well. Okay, I'm getting the hurry up here from the cars going like move along girlfriend <laughs> okay thoughts and feelings for the other person please oh that card spent it's going to annoy me now yeah they're doing their best not to think about it not to worry about it not to think about it they're trying their hardest to put it out of their mind because i think there's probably an element of regret i bet you we come up with an eight of swords in reverse somewhere here mm -hmm. nope okay they think they've done the right thing um it's a bit of a power trip for them though i feel i felt that here with the nine of cups too it's almost like they're they think that they've got some level of control over the situation. And again, that's tied to the past. Mm, okay. Let's see what we have for most likely outcome for Taurus, please. Three of Cups. So there may actually be someone else involved that you don't know about. Um... One more, please. Mm. Oh. All right. Although you're angry up here, I think you're going to be spending some time um, trying to manifest them back into your life here with the magician and the two of pentacles in reverse. Now, I'm kind of sensing with the two of pentacles in reverse, you're going to manifest them back into your life, even though you know that it's not necessarily the best choice for you. Um, but it's, yeah, you're really fixated on them. Again, nothing wrong with that, as long as it doesn't get away from you and become a little bit crazy. Um, but I actually think that you might see them talking to someone else online or somewhere out or well, not out because we're not allowed out unless maybe you work with them or something. Um, I don't know that you've got the right end of the stick here with this three of cups in the reverse, but you believe that there's a third party involved. That's going to cause you to just go block. But then on the at the same time, you're still trying to draw them back into your life. So you're blocking them as a response and trying to draw them back into your life mentally. Um, and don't tell me that you're not because, again, if it's not for you, that's cool. It will be for other people. And you'll see that in the comments because that's what always happens. Um, so you're kind of going back and forth. You're blocking them because you're like, Screw you, I don't want, I don't care then, fine, go do you. But then it's all you can think about and at, and you may even unintentionally be manifest, trying to manifest them back into your life like subconsciously. 
because it's all you can think about. Um, again, all you can think about, even though you know it's not necessarily the right option for you. Oh, now let's do some advice first, please. Advice for Taurus. Advice for Taurus, please. Page of Cups. Okay. Oh, dear Taurus. Spirits definitely telling you to walk away from this in terms of advice. Like, I can't read that any other way. Um, this is unrequited love. Um, there is no collaboration, teamwork. They, it's, it's almost like you, you think that you're destined for this person, but you're not. You have something much, much better available to you. Um, or if you don't right now, you will very soon. But mostly, Spirit's saying you need to be on your own for a bit. And if you've already been on your own for a long time, that's okay. Um, it's more about learning that independence. Um, you may have been alone for a long time, but you've got to learn to be comfortable being alone. Because if you're all you're doing when you're alone is wishing you weren't alone, then you haven't actually achieved that, this card, this, this independence, this um, self power um you know she's a very confident young lady she loves her own company um she doesn't need anybody else to complete her and that's the lesson this is what spirit saying you need to work on that um and that and that kind of needs to be your focus at the moment so that you can get through this which i think is going to be quite difficult for a lot of you uh let's go with romance angels and it was a spirit selection i don't know why they're hurrying me up it's really weird i don't know what's happening here so i don't know um let go of control issues i know it's in reverse do not comment about it being in reverse that is where the camera is that's why i read it out it's okay uh let go of control issues um interesting I feel like that's this down here. That's what we're seeing here. Like you're subconsciously trying to control the situation, even though you know it's not the right decision for you. Um, and it's more about, well, I don't want them to be able to reject me and I don't want them to um, have control of this situation, which is what they're trying to do as well. Um, if they want to control the situation, don't fight them on it. The best way you can remove someone's control is actually remove their power by removing yourself. Um, it sounds counterintuitive, but the opposite of hate, sorry, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. So if you can reach a point of indifference, they lose all their control over you. They lose all of their power over you. And that is the most empowering point. That's where she is. She's in indifference. She's like, meh, I don't really care, whatever, I'm doing me let's uh that's it that's all we've got i was gonna do another one but i'm not um thank you all so much for joining don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i have missed you all so much so please hit me up in the comments uh i'm hoping that i will be able to do weekend reads this week so hopefully i have some internet soon fingers crossed if not we'll find a way around this the people need their readings all right, Tar uh, Taro. All right, Taurus. <laughs> I will hopefully see you for the weekend reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.